Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. I've pretty much finished repositioning my figures and display cabinets. Now I'm going to show you that I've set up a remote control on some of my more favoured figures. There you see, it switched everything on with a light up, and I'm using the soap reactor. Neo sensor for that. I've done a couple of videos on this already. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link in the description below. But essentially, you can switch on the light up features by a flick of a switch like that, and it comes on. So, what I've done here is light up the base from the quarter scale Mark 42 and put a one in six scale Mark 42 die cast on there. The light up on the Civil War. with the all 28 LEDs lit up. The Avengers base at the back with Ultron Prime, the reason why I liked that one is because you can only get, I think, a very good look of Ultron with the light up there, which I think looks absolutely menacing. Now I'm gonna switch the lights on now in the whole cabinet. You can't see it as much when it's lit up but I just want to show you the light up features I have also I have the Hall of Armors I have on remote control again just switch it on and all the lights come on so I'm going to show you very briefly how the cabinet is displayed so on the bottom left hand side shelf here I've got the main bad guys the Ultron Prime, Iron Munger, Whiplash at the back then we have most of the die cast figures here now I've got a whole area empty for any new additions that I have. Quarter scales are also on the bottom shelf, but I'll come back to those in a moment. And you'll see here the quarter scale Mark 42 and the die cast one in six scale. Then moving up on the left hand side, I've got some of these holographic customs and my War Machine collection on the left. And this is a new po pose I've done for the Civil War Mark III War Machine. I quite like it, how he's holding that. Then moving across, these are all the War Machines that I have, the die cast and plastic versions. Then moving up is the most of the Iron Men from Iron Man 3, the arm is from that. So this is probably the best line that you can see where they span all the way to the back. I wanted more of the variants. So you have the Mark IV right to the back there with the secret project and then all these different versions of the Mark VII. So you have the original, the Midas, the black stealth, white version, the chrome chrome gold and then the silver centurions which I have two of the same silver centurions with the blue steel then at the back we have bones python and star boost and I've got two versions of Igor or, I or Igor depending on how you pronounce it a battle damage custom version and the standard version at the back and then here is the custom helmet mod on the gantry so if we go over to the right hand side we have more of the iron Man three armors again the variants at the top shelf going across and at the back you can see the shotgun a repainted mark six and a standard Mark VI. The die cast Mark VI I'll put down on the bottom left hand shelf where I left space there. So on this side is pretty much my custom section on the right hand side cabinet center shelf where I have the Silver Centurion battle damage which is a custom and then the center here is another battle damage custom Mark V. 
then a Heartbreaker Battle Damage Custom. I've got a standard Mark V here, and then this is a chrome repainted version. You can see that it's a little bit more bling, a little bit more vibrant on the sort of silver sections. That looks a little bit more metallic. And then across here is just the standard Hot Toys Battle Damage version. This is a holographic custom, which is essentially a Mark VII. If you remember from Avengers, the Mark VII suit flies out the window and uh, attaches itself and suits up Tony Stark, but we ha I have a holographic version of that. And then here, moving down on the bottom of the shelf, is just a bunch of helmets of Rhodes and Tony Stark and uh, Pepper Potts' third party at the back there. I have two of the Mark I Ultrons. This one near the front is a custom painted showing a bit more weathering effect and next to it is the original. You can see the brown rust look is much more prominent on the front one which is the custom. And again, these are the holographics that I have. My favourite holographic is actually this one here, where it's uh, some open armour, completely ripped apart, or as if it's mid-suiting up. So I quite like that one. Then moving down, I have a space ready for the Hot Toys Hulkbuster when it finally comes out. At the moment I've got the stand-in, which is the King Arts 1 in Night Scale Hulkbuster. And the shelf is around 22 and a half, 23 inches high. I actually specifically had the shelf measurement so that it would fit the Hulkbuster when it is finally released by Hot Toys. And then I have the three quarter scales, the Mark 45, the 43 and the 42. And I've put the respective one in six scales in similar poses to the quarter scales. The reason why I've got a lot of rubble or dioramas or accessories at the back is to hide the wires for that soap reactor. I've got the soap reactors linked into quite a few of these figures on the bottom shelf. So just to show you guys what I mean is that you can switch on all the powered up sections. There, switch it off and then back on again. Off. On. I just hate using batteries to switch on and off figures because essentially it's too much hassle to reposition, take the figure out, switch it on, leave it on for a few minutes and then switch it off, take the batteries out and then reposition again. It's just to me not worth the hassle so I'd rather have everything on a remote so you can switch on the lights and switch them off. So that is going to be my display cabinet for a while. If you remember, I had much more dynamic poses in my various shelves, but because of space constraints, which I would say is the nemesis of all collectors, space, I've had to reposition them to a lot more museum type poses and I've allocated specific areas for the new figures to go. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.